This is the ready and release drill. It is my opinion that if a hitter is ready to swing at pitch release, then he will no longer be rushed by the fastball. And if he's not rushed by the fastball, he won't be as vulnerable on the off-speed pitch. If you're ready to swing at pitch release, you will be waiting for the fastball. And if you're waiting for the fastball, it's much easier to wait a tick longer for the off-speed pitch. So here's how I train that. I turn the machine on and I ask them to swing at release. How do I know they were actually ready to swing at release? The only way I can know that is if they actually do swing at release. If they swing at release, they will have to get their load done a little earlier than they're used to, and they will have to learn then to control that load for the baseball. The first step is swing and release so that you learn to get your loading done much earlier. So as you can see, I took three or four swings, the goal being to time the release point. And then, because I was already ready to swing and release, on the last pitch, I just waited a tick longer and hit a line drive left center. I can't overestimate the value of this drill. It sure looks ridiculous when you do it. I can't tell you how many hitters instantly after doing this drill start hitting the baseball hard where before they swung and miss and miss hit ball after ball after ball it's a great drill ready at release